morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to uh, learn a little bit more biology today, and today we're going to look at fields of biology. So not just looking at biology as a science of the study of life, but looking at all of the different subfields underneath it and understand how they all kind of work together to give us this really clear and exciting understanding of the world of biology. So let's just dive on in and get going. Um, our objective today is very simple. You should be able to explain the different fields of biology and their importance. Every single field of biology that is studied is essential for us to get a greater understanding of how life works. All of these different subfields really tie into biology really well. So it's important to get an understanding of what different fields are out there and how do they impact the world of biology. If we take a look, um, the field of biology or modern biology is very vast. There's many different branches that we can study. Um, but there's some very fundamental ideologies um, about biology and what those basic ideas are. Um, the cell is the unit of life. It's the basic unit. There is um, nothing smaller that is living than a cell. Genes are the unit of heredity. Remember, genes are passed on from parents to offspring. That's how uh, different traits get passed on from one individual to another. Um, these are through genes, which are inside of the DNA, um, that gets passed on from one generation to the next. Evolution generates creation of new species over time. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about this later, but the concept of evolution is that genetics change over time. And eventually genetics change so much that we eventually evolve new species. And we'll talk more about this a little bit later. As well as properties of life. In order to understand more about biology, we need to be able to define what is living and what is non-living. And that's one of our goals of biology as well. So looking at just a few subfields of biology that we can talk about. Um, anatomy is the study of form and function of organisms. So this is where you would you know, do dissections and things like that. You would study the different organs and you would study um, you know, muscles and bones and, and the, the structure of an organism. Uh, biochemistry, you can see two roots in there. You probably know bio meaning life and chemistry referring to things like atoms. So what we do is we study chemical reactions. We study the composition of life and in its uh, chemical form. And that gives us a really good understanding of you know what's going on at the atomic level in life and the one below it you may not know it's called bioinformatics it's a relatively new field of biology but you know like bio means life and informatics looks a lot like the word information so it's a lot of data it's a lot of numbers um, and it has to do with information technology um, we analyze genetic biological data so you look at uh, the picture on the right that is a chromosome which contains DNA and genes, and it is analyzed. Um, we look for different patterns in the uh, DNA, and we also look and try to understand what segments of DNA code for what genes, things like diseases or other traits. Um, biotechnology is the study of altering living organisms, and there's obviously some ethical consideration in that when you think about, you know, when we're, we're altering the DNA of an organism, you know, what does that entail, and, and is that an ethical decision? Is that a wise decision um, to start altering the DNA of organisms? Botany is the study of plants, simple enough. Um, and cell biology is the study of cells. I don't think I need to go into any more detail there. <laughs> Ecology is the study of interactions of organisms with each other and the environment. So uh, we'll take a look at that quite a bit in this class. Um, Ecology is all about nature. It's all about the world around us and how other organisms interact with each other because some have positive interactions, some have negative interactions. And how does that impact the species? Um, as well as their environment. What resources can be gained from the environment? That's different depending upon the different animal, organism, and where they live. Evolutionary biology is the study of the origin and descent of species. So we're talking about evolution and natural selection here. And again, we'll detail that a little bit more later. Uh, genetics, the study of genes and heredity. You've probably done a lot of Punnett squares before. Um, you probably know a lot about the different traits and how they're passed on. Now, genetics is the study of that. And it gets a little bit more confusing, but it's fun. I like it. Uh, microbiology um, is the study of microscopic organisms. So you're talking about things like bacteria. You're talking about things like viruses, um, yeast, 
all these different things are studied within the field of microbiology. It's very, very important um, because there are more of these organisms on Earth than any other organism on the planet. So microbiology is very, very important. Ethology is, it's interesting, it's the study of animal behavior. So um, you look at the picture on the right, the um, organism there has actually imprinted on the woman, thinking that the woman is actually um, the mother. And, um, you know, we, we look at studies of how animals behave, how animals interact with other animals, how they um, grow and develop, just like how, you know, children grow and develop, things like that. It's a very interesting field to study. And then zoology is the study of animals and how they've developed and changed over time. So oh, you've got a wide variety of different fields of biology here that you can study, you can look at, um, you know, but again, the key thing to remember here is all of these contribute to the field of biology. So all of these um, give really important information as to how biology um, works and how it takes place. So um, just in conclusion, uh, there are many other fields along with these. There's, these are not just the only fields. There's plenty more than just these. Um, they contribute to the key ideas within biology. So when you talk about mitosis, meiosis, uh, Punnett squares, ecology, cell biology, all these things, they're all based in all of these different sciences, and they all contribute to that general field of biology. But I think that we can all agree that life is very complex. Life is not something that is simple. Um, life has a lot of different moving parts to it, and if one of those parts doesn't work, then you cannot live. But what's nice is that as we continue to study biology and move forward, we learn more and more about life, and we learn more about um, the uniqueness of it, the different parts that make it work, and in some instances, what we can do to make life work better and make it more efficient for all of us. Um, you know, things like treating diseases. So, hopefully, um, you're able to understand the objective and move forward from there, and I wish you all a wonderful and happy day. Thank you.